Okay, so here is the lingering pandemic. So antimicrobial resistance to thwarts the fight against several diseases. So basically, we have to be understand about AMR. Okay, sorry. Antimicrobial resistance. What exactly it is? If we have to be understand what is antimicrobial resistance. So first we have to be understand what exactly it is. So what exactly is antimicrobial resistance? As per the WHO, antimicrobial resistance occurs when bacteria, virus, fungi and parasite change over time and no longer responds to medicine, making infections harder to treat and increasing the risk of disease, spread severe illness and death. So basically, uh, micro, microbial resistance which means what? You are taking lots of antibiotics, antibiotics but the, your body is not going to respond it. In that case, you are doing overdoses of antibiotics. In that case, your uh, body is not a start fun functioning. So, that is why after the pandemic, uh, as we can see, uh, here is a writer is a scientist with the ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, that is uh, Kamini Walia. So, ever since the pandemic struck concern has been raised about the improper use of antimicrobial amongst COVID-19 patients. So, basically, uh, in the case of like antimicrobial resistance, which means what? Like doctor is very uh, like concerned about uh, like ki slabs nikalne honge muh ke andar se corona test ke liye and without doing this they are doing antibiotics. So that antibiotics are not affecting to the patient in that case. So that is why the, this, uh, this is talking about the role of antimicrobial resistance. The unnecessary prescription of antimicrobials will lead to further increase in the already high levels of drug resistance in most parts of the world. In the past few years, alarmingly high resistance rates of pathogens of public health. Pathogens which means spreading of uh, bacteria. That is not to the pathogens. Once we handshake to the one people to the another people, so you are spreading pathogens to the another people. So pathogens of public health importance have been reported from Indian hospitals. So, isolate is concerned with the cl clinical outcomes in the patient from whom they were isolated. This is to do with the inadequate hospital information system in most public sector, funded healthcare facilities in India and many low mid middle income countries. So, in 2014, it has mentioned already. And the global burden of bacterial and antimicrobial resistance between four country and territories, 2019. <coughs> Global report on antimicrobial, that is GRAM, report released last month provides the most comprehensive estimate of the global impact of antibiotic resistance. To, according to the report, 4.9 million people died from the drug resistance bacterial infections. Overdose of medicines and if the, uh, if the, uh, the disease is not uh, happening with that patient, for example, if, if, if I am not suffering from the uh, COVID-19, but the doctor is prescribing medicine that is uh, for the COVID-19. COVID In that case, will body will not react, right? So, that is why this is the article is mentioning here. With 3,89,000 deaths in the South Asia alone, AMR directly caused to at least 1.27 million of those deaths. Lower respiratory infection accounted for more than 1.5 million. This data we can link uh, in the, uh, right in the mains exam is. The National Action Plan for AMR approved in 2017 completes its official duration this year. This progress under the plan has been far from satisfactory. Too many players, missing governance mechanism, absence of funding have been organized as the key impediment. This is a way forward you can think. So AMR contains plans by fixing, it is uh, fixing irresponsibly, respons responsibility and monitoring progress at higher level. There is enough evidence that Intervention like infection control, improved diagnosis and antimicrobial stewardship are effectiveness in the containment of AMR. The Gram report which means the <coughs> global report on antimicrobial has underlined the postponing action could prove costly. So we have government have to think about such kind of uh, actions. So, what causes so cause of antibiotic resistance? Over prescribing of antibiotics, 
patient not talking antibiotics uh, as prescribed sometimes like uh, like uh, some medicine which has to be uh, uh, shown by like us president i'm forgetting the those medicine name and the people are using that medicine right in the time of second wave of covid so without doctor prescription if you are using this antibiotics unnecessary antibiotics used in agriculture and with the help of uh, with the help of bioaccumulation they are spreading towards the human body poor infection control in hospital and clinic poor hygiene and sanitation practices lack of rapid laboratory tests so these cause of antibiotic resistance is occurs how does antibiotic resistance occur so this is a simple like high number of bacteria few of them resistance to antibiotics antibiotics kill bacteria causing the illness as well as good bacteria protecting the body from infection the resistant bacteria now have preferred condition to grow and take over bacteria can even transfer their drug resistance to other bacteria causing more problems so this here the step 1 2 3 and 4 so this article basically is talking like global action plan 2015 and un res resolutions on amr including the one in india have not been translated into coherent action the major impediments to amr containments is the most affected countries have the least data on the burden posed by the okay so here it is the, the article mentioned here the global burden of bacterial anti antimicrobial resistance in 2004 countries and it is in 2019 that is a gram and this report released last month it provides that because you know uh, the case of <coughs> according to the report 4.95 million people died the drug resistance bacteria infection 2019 so that's why the government has to be concerned about this as we can see it here like 70% of infection 70% of infection 70% of infection in communities and hospitals therefore the indian data on the amr burden may not look every different from the estimates published in the report so amr burden surpasses the tb and hiv there the tuberculosis and hiv a sense of urgency in the containing such resistance is called for with no new drugs in the pipeline for drug resistant infection time is running out for the patient addressing amr requires a multi pronged and multi sectoral approach the urgency to develop new drugs should not discourage us from instituting measures to use the existing antimicrobial judiciary judiciary so basically government has to be think about very cleverly about the amr that is antimicrobial resistance so all this requires a comprehensive plan driven by designated coordinating agency it has mentioned that the national action plan for amr approved in 2017 complete its official duration duration this year the progress under the plan has been far from satisfactory too many players missing governance mechanism and absence of finding have been recognized so here it is we have discussed like gram global research and antibiotic anti microbial resistance gram project the purpose of global research of anti microbial resistance gram project is to generate accurate and timely estimates to the magnitude and trends in anti microbial resistance amr burden across the world which can be used to inform treatment guidelines and agendas for decision making and research detect emerging problems and monitor trends to inform global strategy as well as facilitate the assessment of intervention over time so basically gram which is global research on antimicrobial resistance is a flagship project of university of oxford big data institute ihme strategy partnership as well 